in this video we're gonna learn that how to perform a recurring entry or how to enter a recurring document in sage 50 so we have a business scenario here that uh, that we need to pay a monthly rent for our office that is 10,000 so for one year the annual rent is 10,000 in times 12 becomes 120 and we need to do the rent payment the checks written on the date that is every 10th of the month so for example that we had an agreement with our landlord on 1st of January 2019 so on 1st January 2019 me as an accountant I pass this entry that prepaid rent account is debit with 120,000 and I will credit all the 12 post dated checks the PDC checks 10 10,000 every month but right now I'm just entering here a single account that is Dubai Islamic is credit with 120,000 and then every 10th of the month we need to write off this entry so rent expense account is debit with 10,000 and credit will be prepaid rent account 10,000 so let's see how to perform this entry in sage 50 so on January 1st we're gonna perform this entry so you need to click on the task and here we have this journal journal entry maximize the window so we are going to record this transaction on 1st of January 2019 003 tab tab and here you need to select the prepaid rent expense account prepaid rent account and you can write here the description at once and paid for year enter and that is 120 enter 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 and we are paying through Dubai Islamic Bank enter enter that is 120 enter enter and then save it and if you want to check the reports I want to check the ledger of advance rent we go in the reports and form journal ledger in journal ledger we have this journal ledger right all that balances are coming but I want to see prepaid rent only so you need to click this option and I'm gonna select for this year select the GL account ID and I need to check the ledger balance of prepaid rent and then press ok so look right now on 1st January 2019 we pay at one strand that is 120,000 so now we need to write off for in every month because we are paying the rent every 10th of the month from January to February to March April May till December because we're gonna pay monthly rent of 10,000 so how we gonna enter the right of entry here you need to give the date that is because we're gonna pay on 10th of every month that is a reference number comes automatically so here the entry is that rent expense is debit 911 monthly rent paid enter and the debit amount is that is 10,000 enter 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 and we need to credit the prepaid rent that is 115 enter 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 10,000 enter equation is balance 
and that is our prepaid rent account so after this entry you need to click on this option and here we have this option create recurring click it do you want to continue yes and because we are paying monthly rent so that's why I'm gonna select here monthly but if you want to repeat this entry quarterly or yearly or twice a year so you can select the parameter as per your requirement so we are going to pay monthly rent so we select monthly first transaction date that is of 10th of January and that ends on 10th of December right and after 12 and this transaction will recur on 10th of every month press ok do you want to continue yes and save it now automatically on 10th of every month this entry will be posted so if you want to check the reports okay if I cancel this that is journal ledgers I want to check the ledger of at one strength for the month of January only so click on position and I will change the period here and select the specific dates from 1st till 31st January that report is off 31st from 1st January till 31st January 2019 for advanced rent the prepaid rent and press OK so the total advanced rent was 120,000 and now on 10th of January 10,000 is posted so the remaining rent the prepaid rent is 100,000 so on 10th of January this 10,000 is posted so the remaining balance is 100,000 110,000 and if you sort if you check this for one year the total advance rent balance become zero so on 10th of every month every month it will be posted automatically so I'm gonna select this year from 1st January till 31st December for the ledger prepaid rent and press ok so now look there is no balance it is zero so that is how you record a recurring transaction in sage 50